This is like option E or whatever we're on. I just want it to be done. I'm scared that we're gonna screw this up. Good evening as we come on the air in the West tonight, President Trump addressing the American people just a short time ago as the toll of the coronavirus widens here in the U.S. To unleash the full power of the federal government in this effort today, I am officially declaring a national emergency. Virus can infect people easily and spreads person to person. Today, the nation's top health officials told lawmakers we need more testing. We have to be calm. We can't be panicked. Hey, shady baby, I'm hot like the prodigal sun. Big up at the mini money more and flower, you're the chosen one. So, Sam pretty much just called me one day and was like, let's build a hut. Josh, like, you have the perfect yard for it. We don't really have anything else to do because we're in quarantine. We'll obviously we'll all wear masks and gloves and we'll be safe, keep our social distance but it sounded like a really fun project for us to do and kind of see each other and keep the friendship alive so we're not just like sitting inside bored all that. I thought that was just an amazing idea and I was kind of like, why not? <laughs> What's the worst that could happen? I just wanted it to be a place that we could like have as our own, uh, like going back and forth to other people's houses was like, well, it's fun and whatever. Like we always have our parents there that kind of give us rules and kind of had this idea to just have it be our own place. There's, there's a strong movement. Wait, wait, no. I've been spending a lot of time thinking about how we actually do this. We have no fucking clue what we're doing. We're going on the fly. So we actually are just building whatever we can build. No, we don't know what we need at Home Depot. Since we're going on the fly, like we could fuck up something now but not realize we fucked it up until like when the final roof's going on and then it's fucked by that point and then what are we gonna do? As long as like we can control everything, we can probably get this done. God, this axe is so rusty. I'm a little scared about the fire department over there because they, they might be able to shut it down. But other than that, I think it's going to go pretty well. Also, maybe leveling out the surface, that's going to be pretty difficult. But once we get it off the ground, it's going to be great. We're gonna put one in and then we're gonna line up the rest. I'm Quite most hard. scared for it not to work. Um, you know, obviously, me, Josh, and Jake honestly have no clue what we're doing from a logistics standpoint. We're kind of just digging and holding wood. So uh, we're gonna see how this works out. I know, but no, but we're digging these into the ground. Yeah, so we're not, that so we only have to dig not that deep. deep. No, but we only have to dig two inches. Two inches, yeah. yeah. I'm the most scared for if we uh, build, build it wrong and God forbid, like, we're like, running pong and stuff and then a tree falls on it or the roof co collapses and, and like kills somebody. Make sure there's enough cement in there. Yeah. I think we gotta mix it in the bucket and pour it in though. I'm excited for, uh, well first it's fun with these losers over there building it. Um, can't wait to use it and party in it. It'll be really fun. <laughs> this is gonna be a cool spot like for all of us. I want to like deck it out, have lights, pong table, like kind of like an Austin Towers lounge, you know, on the plane. <laughs> I'm excited for the uh, the uh, team bonding experience, and uh, you know, like when this whole outcome's over, we can just like kind of do whatever you want. It's like an hour hut, and uh, it be a good, fun place to go. What's pissing you off, Sam? Jake comes and spends three hours hammering in a fucking rock that doesn't need to be. Not fucking. I appreciate what he's doing. I appreciate that he's somewhat coming here, but he comes for two hours just to hammer the rock and then leaves. I know for a fact this is going like 50-50. It's, it's not that good. What they're trying to do is do each individual side and then level it by, by you know, guess and check and then keep on fixing it, level it off again. Fix it, level it off again. Stupid. You have a rectangle. You level it off on one side. You go to the corner, level off the other side. Go to the corner, level off the other side, and then it's all level. No cross of elimination, no guess and check. It's done. Easy peasy. It would have taken us one and a half, two days. Let's set it up. Let's fucking cement it. Let's go. <laughs> Josh sucks. No cementing. Josh, let's get a tarp. <laughs>
day five. Uh, already lost a few brain cells and uh, got work to do. Let's go. Wow, dude, that's really good. Biggest mistake I've made with the hut, I would probably say from the very beginning, I feel like we all had one idea and that's what we're doing exactly right now. Just putting the cinder blocks down, not digging, not making it too complicated. I think we tried to be, you know, think we were too smart and tried to do things a certain way when we should have just been basic from the beginning. So I feel like if I just trusted my gut and everyone trusted their gut, this could have been done a lot quicker. And also getting to some dumb arguments, you know, AJ's an easy person to argue with because, you know, his, his, uh, his attitude sometimes is, can be way over the top and annoying. So if you look at this pole right here and you line it up with that pole, just, just through the eye test, these two poles are not lined up. So there's a serious issue right there because with the architecture, everything needs to be aligned perfectly. They could have been a bit more, you know, structured and smart about it. You know, Jared's not the smartest kid in the world, so he might have to be off the team in the next few days, but you know, we'll, we'll have to figure it out from there. If we just dig super, super deep, and then above us, just put like a tarp. Yeah. So just, I'm, I'm not even kidding. Put a hole down, deep, and then it's like a walkway all the way up there, and then not a roof above us, but just like a tarp that just that just goes over it almost. We gotta Walk make a sick name, too. Like, our name for this uh, club needs to be sick. We gotta think of some cool names. Have that. Welcome we to put... the place. Yes. Yeah. The place. Yeah. The place. And then the people, place. people at school would be like, yeah, you go to the place tomorrow? Yeah. You place tomorrow? Yeah, that's... And, and it's super not easy you're to going say. To, not you're going to the place? Yeah, you got a place tomorrow? Yeah. Yeah, yeah we're going to the place. So, no, so, 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 so like, because it kind of makes sense, like, the Home Depot would be the place. But the place should almost... Or the palace. Oh. We're going to the palace? palace. We're going to the palace. Oh, that's cool. The palace, but with that same L. Or, uh, or, or C, whatever. You, you, you make one of the letters really like, wrong, like long. The palace. The core is leveled. We have a plank that's leveled. Look, think about this. A plank right here, leveled across there, and then we dig the center block so they're touching the wood plank. Then all these will be leveled, and then we attach it to this corner. All of them will be leveled. That would be so much I, I, better. Fine, fine. Fine. Can I talk to you guys think it needs to be perfectly straight, and it's not. But it is actually perfectly straight. Because if you come back here, you'll see that it's angled to the left side for all of that. I think like it's just frustrating sometimes, like how long it takes, how many things we have to change, everything about that. But we're like improving as we're going along. Like at first I thought like Jake and Cam weren't gonna be like very helpful. <laughs> but they have been like more helpful than I would have thought. Butt off. Like, you're not kidding. You have to do shit. Alright, can someone put Sam knows I've done more than you have. Done. So, you know, oh, yeah. some days that are not going your way. That's today. I think everyone's mad at me right now. Literally everyone. So it's day seven building the hut and we've got absolutely nothing. We screwed up, we dug the wrong holes, and the measurements are all off. So we are completely starting from scratch all over again. Wish us luck. The first idea was dumb. Like we were, we were just digging holes for no reason, not even knowing what we were digging, what was gonna go in the holes. Um, you know, the idea was for Sam, it was Sam's idea, you know, Obviously not Sam to fully to blame because we all didn't know exactly what we were doing, but that was Sam's idea and it was it was kind of dumb because we were just digging for no reason. It was like we were trying to find a hidden treasure that wasn't there. Our biggest mistake was probably just we just honestly we were just knuckleheads and we just started digging and that made everything so uneven and it was hard. Uh, but then we we came up with a better plan and we went off of that. But the digging really uh, messed us up. Remember back in the day when you taught me to live and I taught you to pray We went in the battle together, no matter the weather, we never delayed You gave me commands, I always obeyed, I never let you go astray I never thought I'd see the day that you would come and just betray me Sick of playing silly games, you never loved me anyway You should not have let me get away, cause now I'm hunting for my prey I'm bigger, I'm better, my mind is a weapon, I won't ever let up You try to break me down and I'ma just get up They ask me how I did it, I'ma just tell them I rose up Survival. Survival. Fight for my life. Coming back stronger. I will arrive. I'm a 
survivor Fight for my life Coming back stronger I will arise Staring at you from afar Analyzing every scar Asking myself how we got here Remember this is who we are I am not here for revenge I did not come to make amends Not here to repent for my sins I just came here to win I actually did not think the hut was actually going to work at all. At first, I will fully admit that I was definitely a downer. I've been here a little bit, but not for the whole time, and uh, I give them a lot of credit. You know, they actually they work their butts off, and the hut is amazing, and it is where it is today because of them. That tree's a bitch. I think uh, the flooring was the hardest part, like getting the getting the cinder blocks in the ground and then having to redo it because we kind of messed up the first time. That was really hard, but overall, I think the team's working well, and we're making a lot of progress now. <laughs> Run, Nick! <laughs> oh, <man>. Run, Nick! <laughs> <laughs> well, we know it's supportive! <laughs> this isn't going in the documentary. I know. We're going to have a real problem. You asked it as I laid in a black dress With my father in a cast I had no plan You know what? I'm quitting. I'm not. I'm not. I'm, I'm holding out. I, 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 will literally, I will literally break. Stop fucking filming me, Josh. If you ever feel uncomfortable, jump. Just jump off. Okay. Let's go. Ready? I got mine! It's wet. It's raining, but we still gotta grind, All baby. Right. Taxi and the traffic distracts me from the strangers in my backseat that remind me that I was late for this, late for that, late for the love of my life. When I die wrong, when I die wrong, die I'll be on time. After finishing the floor, we decided that we needed some sort of boardwalk to walk on when we're walking to the hut. So we talked to security officers at our school, and they actually said they have some wood that can be used for a boardwalk at the football field at our high school. So we went, we loaded Jared's car up with the boardwalks, and we brought it back to the hut. Day, uh, closing day today. Everything's gonna be done uh, for fucking three weeks. Here we go. Big day, about to finish the floor. Very emotional day. Everything's about to be over, so this is this is, this is very exciting that we're about to you know, finish something that's huge for us. Lift it. Yeah. Push. All right, push. Perfect, Parnes. I fucking love you.
I'm really craving like a, like a cinnamon bun from Starbucks. Remember when we said you were going to eat before you come? <laughs> I'm always hungry when I come here, I don't know why. Not even even, it's just all this, all this wood needs to be either cut here or before because we've had a, getting a bagel warmed with cream cheese and a classic coffee cake. Oh, I thought the floor was fat. What? Oh, yeah, that's what we're doing today. That little part. My initial reaction when I heard about this project was I thought they were crazy and I thought it was going to take forever to do and did not expect it to go where it is right now. I didn't really I didn't really know if it would work. Probably the first thing I thought was like that's so Josh. That's exactly it reminds me exactly of something he would do. He loves to take on these like big projects. He makes everyone he knows a part of them. You know, after I started hearing that again like all of these that he's involving all these people and there's money going in that that really solidified it for me and I, I knew it was going somewhere. No one's here. We said it was gonna be grind day, so uh, Josh and I are gonna power wash the thing, the floor, we're gonna paint it, and uh, hopefully dig the boardwalk in too, so it's done. After we put the floorboards down, we decided we should probably paint them because a lot of it was really cracked because they were so fragile when we, when we nailed them, some of it split in half. So we decided we should probably paint them to put a little nicer of a finish over it. We have two different colored paints right now, but um, I'm just gonna roll with it. Maybe it'll look cool. Sam is painting with a broom right now. <laughs> you know what though? It's fucking working. <laughs> I want to get the fuck out of here. Fuck. I'm parched. <laughs> um, the tent came, the $700 tent came. Uh, it's split into four boxes. Right now it's just Josh and I. Josh is filming, so it is just myself. Uh, we are moving all the boxes down. Each of the two boxes are like 70 pounds. The other two are, I think, like 90, so light work. You know, gonna assemble the frame today. Once the tree's cut down, we're gonna put it up and then uh, put the cloth or tent material over it. So stay tuned. That's the tent. Wow. Party tent user's manual. Right here, boys. Right here. It says to check for every part, but I'm not doing that. That's fucked. <laughs> That's really fucked. <laughs> we may need to hire someone. I thought the floor was hard. This is gonna cause a lot of fighting. Here's my logic. At every wedding, bar mitzvah, 
party, brunch, whatever. They got these. Normally, there's more than one. Normally, they're much bigger. And it takes them, you know, like an hour, maybe two hours to set up. So, uh, we can definitely do it in a day. We just all gotta be ready to work. And this, I think, is the covering. Yeah, it's the covering. I think we have everything but the poles down here. Fuck. All right, we'll do it your because, way. No, 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 no just look. No. It goes straight, straight, straight. Th those were the eight pieces that we just did. But if you look at it from this side. Oh my God. Damn. Are you gonna work today or are you just gonna bitch? Dude, it's gonna get I, worse. I, I, I moan, I said, oh my God. I know, but like, I we am. gotta figure out how to put this shit Sam, together. Everything you've asked me to do, I have done. I know. But like, be, be like invested in it too. Okay. Because Jared, Jared, it is right because you have to stick it in like that. What? There's one middle piece that you stick everything into. You which go, is this. Up, look. Which is this. Stand up from this side. Yeah, angle. but it's straight. It's, it's not angle. going down. No, it's not. You gotta go. We have to take this to the left. <laughs> no, I don't know what the fuck's going on. <laughs> you, you don't need to be here anymore because you're not doing anything. <laughs> <laughs> My favorite part about building the hut, there's a lot of things that I love. I love building in general, so uh, just building, like, just even putting together this tent is, like, fun for me. Nailing stuff, everything about it was fun. Like, besides, like, I guess, like, the arguing, fights, like, we just had to get to work, and I love doing my thing. We have two squares. This is like our logo, but just like whatever. So it's a darker square here, overlap with a lighter square here. We're gonna do little splotches on it as well with different colors, so that'll look cool. And then we're gonna have the on the dark one and then hut on the light one with a period, so it's gonna be the hut. Something I can, something I can lean on. 23 in the afterglow. I stepped from the top, I stepped from the top. There we go, baby. There we go. I love it. Parts, I love it. We have moved the whole frame on top of the floor. We put the cover over it. We're about to secure the cover to the steel. And then we're gonna put the legs in. It's all getting done today. We've decided we got light on our sides right now. We got about an hour, 20 minutes, I'd say, before it's dark. So uh, it's grind time, baby. Time goes on and I'm so slow. I won't have to let you go. This looks really, really good. Just this. The legs aren't even on yet. It's like a tunnel in there. We're gonna need each person to help with Some closer to confiding When the time has been stripped away Can you hang on? Can you keep on hanging on Until the summer days? Give me something to rely on Something close to rely on I think we just gotta get the legs on now and then figure it out afterwards. Yeah, but it could be a massive issue. We're like off on this side by a lot. Like this whole thing is like 
This is a foot hot longer than it should be. Well, you're not telling me there's a problem here, is there? <laughs> like, well, you look know at what? this. You know what, actually? If we're gonna extend it on one side, extend it on that side because the board walks there. Yeah. So let's get the legs in and then we can move it and everything. So, little to our knowledge, the trees around the hut were dead. They were dead trees. And with one really bad storm, all the trees could fall down and destroy the hut or fall on us if we're in the hut. So we need to find someone to come and cut the trees down for a reasonable price and in a very short amount of time. They did an incredible job. Incredible. Look at this. It looks cool too. It's like steps. And if we push this tent out, so part of it is on the boardwalk. I mean, it's not, it doesn't look nice now or anything, but you walk in, and I mean, like this is going to be on this side. So you're walking in, and you're already underneath the tent as you walk up onto the floor, and then. That fixes the issue with all these poles. These are now on, these would be on here. And then right here, you know, it'll probably actually go out to here. It's just, it's open. part about building the hut is probably right now with everything coming together um, there was a lot of manual labor involved so now kind of taking a step back doing a lot of cosmetic things like painting the floor putting the tent up um, putting furniture in it's it's rewarding to see um, all the hard work come together Nice D. I really just love AJ. Um, his presence is always, you know, interesting and fun to be around. He's always got something to say, always got an opinion. Uh, at times, you know, we go back and forth, but you know, it's out of love. I feel like my most fun memories are with AJ, packing stuff in the car at Home Depot, and just a lot of funny times. He's just a powerhouse. He's so good at working and putting 100% effort in. And, you know, he's just a fun guy. He's a great personality. I love him. This is an outdoor couch, guys. Outdoor couch. I really love working with Jared because he's just, he's, all, he's always doing something. He's always a very random, uh, shows up at the weirdest times, coming from the weirdest places, and uh, it's just always very entertaining. He always puts 100% into the, his work, and he's a very clever, fun guy to be around, and, you know, he's a smart, funny, talented man, and I, I just love hanging out with him. Jared comes every day and I feel like everyone has a ton of energy and Jared just like has none but it's kind of like good because he kind of keeps everyone settled sometimes, he kind of calms everyone down, he really doesn't not say too much, he has ideas here and there, he gets his work done, he's kind of just like a generic kid that we all love. I like Jared because he was like put in a lot of hard work, he was like the quiet guy but he put, he did a lot of work and a lot of the hard work as well. Sam's by far like the hardest worker at the hut. He's always the first one here and the last one out. He always like takes time out of his day from work to come here. He puts the work in. He's kind of like the the mom or like the boss of the group, and uh, you know he keeps people in check and he gets his work done. Sam was like the financial leader. He kept all of us on task, even though sometimes he got off 
we've been like grinding out just us two for most of the time. It's like we think we got here at 6 a.m. one morning. We've been grinding on a uh, like just building a structure when no one else is here. We're usually here together working. No matter what mood I'm in, if I'm pissed off or anything, he always knows how to have a good time and he always just puts me in such a great mood. And we just have so much fun together when we hang out. I love Jake because um, just throughout the years that we've been friends, you know, he's always been just uh, such a funny kid. You know, never really cared about anyone else but uh, you know himself and his uh, close friends. So uh, just a great friend to have. Always here to you know work hard. Uh, very determined. Um, and uh, he's a clever kid. I love watching Jake. Like that's not a creepy. <laughs> Nah, he's, he's so funny to actually like, want, like he, he does what we want, he'll do, he'll do what he wants, but like, he's like, spe he's like a spirit, like, he'll just say the funniest stuff at random times, he's just Jake, he, he has his like, own personality. And he's one of those kids that's just like, super funny, he keeps the attitude high and he gets work done, but he's also just like, funny in his like, weird way, and it just keeps the, uh, the a atmosphere here very like, happy and outgoing. What I like most about Cam is that he's a hard worker, he has a lot of dedication, and in this project he was like the, I was almost like saying like the labor worker, he would just like be there and getting all the work done, always has high spirits and stuff, and he was really funny. He has such an energetic and great personality, and he's a daredevil, he does, he does not give a shit about anything, like he will send, he's just one of the biggest senders I know, and he always puts me in a good mood. He he basically brings the fire of our uh, operation we have going. He's always just been a very funny kid to be around. He's always, you know, been a full sender. Uh, I, you know, just looking back on being friends with him, uh, I even remember, you know, like rec basketball. Um, just known him for such a long time. He's always been funny to be around, and uh, you know, he comes here. He's the kind of kid that you can just give him a job to do, and he'll do it well. So it's a, uh, it's nice working with him. Where are we going? Yeah, you walk. Josh is just a different person. You know, you don't see too many Joshes around. He's very outgoing, charismatic, talkative, and then sometimes he, he gets pissed off really easy. He's kind of bipolar, but I fucking love him. He's a great person. He was the filmer of this project, and I respect him because he's going to get his with the film. Um, but otherwise, he did help us at times, digging up holes to get us dirt and stuff. But. He also was a financial uh, advisor at some points. He also gave money and, and he was just a funny guy. I have had my best laughs, probably like m even more with AJ. Like me and Josh are always just telling jokes and uh, sometimes not getting work done, but it's what makes the hut like really good because he, you know, he can be so freaking annoying, but uh, you know, he's, he's a really funny kid. He is the, the one behind why I'm sitting right here right now. But I, I guess it's going to be fun to see what happens when uh, this documentary is done, like, to look back on this. He's, like, just supporting what we do, basically. So our dream is he's supporting it, I guess. You know, I've known him for such a long time now. Um, it's always a fun time around him. He's such a, you know, extra in a good way. Uh, he's always a lover, not a fighter. He likes to, you know, hug it out. Uh, always quick to apologize. Uh, um, so when we're working in a close space like this with a lot of fights, it's always refreshing to see that kind of personality. Uh, he's very helpful with the filming. Um, he loves catching, you know, us in our prime times, whether it's Manny, you know, working hard, or if it's Jake dancing, he's always there to capture, which is nice to see. Such a loving, loving kid. I just want to let each and every one of you guys know, when you look at this hut, you look at every single nail, every single floorboard, you look at this, 
We fucking accomplished something amazing. Good fucking shit. I love all you guys, dude. <laughs> My favorite part about building the hut was probably the very beginning because it was so exciting when we didn't know what was going to happen. And even though we failed so many times at first, grabbing all the stuff, having all the ideas, starting and going again, that like beginning part, March, April, and like a, a bit of May was the most exciting part because we were all working together and we were learning as we were working. I couldn't tell you a better feeling than once you laid that final piece of plywood on the ground and put that the last string of tent on to finish the entire project. It was just, it was is one of the greatest experiences I've ever had in my life. I'll follow you into the park, through the jungle, through Hello, Mr. Mouse! Hello, Mr. Mouse! Come on, talk to me like that, Mr. Mouse. Come on, it's good morning! Come on, it's good this way, Mouse! This way, Mouse! No one knows what they're doing here, like, it's just, uh, it's kind of funny. <laughs> like, these people. <laughs> <laughs> Eat your butts! You see those tits? Those are great uh, for milking. Uh, uh. Uh. Josh, you have to help. You cannot be filming. Josh, stop. Guys, <laughs> the hut's gonna be called Chipotle. Chipotle without the L. Chipotle. It's not gonna rain. Just make the shot. Oh, give me your titties. Oh.